New to Zoom and looking for guidance? We're here to help. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Zoom. Now let's get started. If you don't have a Zoom account yet, check out our tutorial on how to sign up for a Zoom account. We also have a tutorial on how to schedule a meeting. Zoom makes it easy for you to connect with your colleagues online. It's great for meetings as well as team building activities when you can't all get together in person. You can download the Zoom desktop client for your Mac or PC. We'll leave a link to the download page in the description box below. This is what the Zoom desktop client looks like. On the Home tab, you'll see options to start a new meeting, join a meeting, schedule a meeting, and share your screen. In the top menu, you'll find the Chat tab, Meetings tab, and Contacts tab. In the Chat tab, you can send messages to your contacts. If your company already uses another IM service, you probably don't need to use this feature. However, if you're looking for a way to quickly keep in touch with your colleagues and you don't have another IM system in place, this is a good option. Click the plus sign to start a new conversation. Then click New Chat if you just want to have a quick conversation, or Create a Channel if you're looking to create a permanent chat room for you and your colleagues. Then type in the names of the contacts you want to add to the chat or channel. If you're creating a channel, type in a channel name. You can choose to make the channel private so only those invited can join, or public so anyone in your organization can join. Then click Create Channel. From there, you can easily send messages, emojis, share files, and screenshots. In the Meetings tab, you'll see your scheduled meetings for the day. You'll also be able to easily access your personal meeting ID to make it easy to send that information to your colleagues if you want to start a meeting. In the Contacts tab, you'll see a directory of contacts you've added, as well as channels you're part of. Under the Company Directory heading, you should see a list of company contacts who are using Zoom and are registered under the same domain as you are. To add a new contact, click the plus sign. Then click Add a Contact. Type in their email address, then click Add. Let's go back to the home page. If you click your profile icon in the top right corner of the home page, you can easily set your availability status and access your settings. Use these to customize Zoom to your liking. You can easily configure your video and audio settings here along with a number of other settings. If you click My Profile, you'll be taken to the Zoom website where you can edit your profile details and integrate your Google, Outlook, or Exchange account to link your calendar and contacts to Zoom. Now that we've walked through the basics of the desktop client, let's get into how Zoom calls work. There are a few different ways you might start or join a call. The first way is to start a new call in your personal meeting room by clicking New Meeting. Another method is to join someone else's meeting by using the Join feature. Click Join, then type in the ID or link for the meeting you want to join. Decide if you want your audio or video to be off, then click Join. The third way is joining a pre-scheduled meeting. Go to your Meetings tab, then click either Start or Join beside the meeting you want to join. You'll only see the Start option if you're the host of a meeting. Once you're in a Zoom call, you can easily invite contacts using the Invite option at the bottom. Click on the contacts you want to invite, or copy the meeting URL to send in an IM. Using the controls at the bottom of the window, you can mute or unmute your microphone and turn your video on or off. You can see a list of who is in a meeting by clicking Participants at the bottom. You can also view the chat room within this meeting by clicking Chat. The chat feature is a great way to ask questions or add comments without interrupting whoever is speaking or presenting during your meeting. You can also share files and links here. If you want to record a meeting to keep a copy of it for later reference, click Record. The recording will be accessible in your Meetings tab once you end the meeting. If you want to share a presentation or do a training session perhaps, you can share your screen by clicking Share. Then select which screen or window you want to present to your meeting group, or use the whiteboard option if you want to draw something out. 
If you want your colleagues to be able to hear something playing on your computer, like a video, make sure you check off the Share Computer sound box at the bottom as well. Then click Share. While screen sharing, you can use the Annotate function to highlight your mouse, draw on your screen, highlight important things, and more. Use the menu at the top of your screen to pause or stop screen sharing. When you're done with the meeting, you can leave the meeting or end it all together if you're the host by clicking either Leave Meeting or End Meeting in the bottom right corner of the window. The button text will vary depending on if you're the host or not. That does it for our beginner's guide to using Zoom. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday.